guys, this is Hernandez. So today is Wednesday. We are going to have a new book to read today. Um, our next reading will be on Friday. And as I said in the last video, next week on Monday, we will start our new novel. I am so excited. I can't wait to start it with you guys. I'm not going to give away too much. Like I said in the last video, I'll try and give you more hints maybe on Friday just so you can get something to be excited about for Monday. But yeah, Monday will be the next um, novel we're going to read. But for today, we're just going to read some another short book, um, a picture book, you know, just some something that would be nice and cute to look at. I'm thinking of reading two things today <clears throat> just to give you guys some more things to look at. I, I kind of, one of them I'm not sure you guys would like or not, but I'm still going to read it anyway. But this is going to be the first thing we're looking at. So this is Sir Small and the Dragonfly by, let's see, Jane O'Connor. So this is a really, really cute book that my tia gave to me, my aunt. She gave it to me um, so I could start um, collecting books to have for students in my classroom. And this is one of them that she gave. It is a really, really cute book. On the back it says, in the town of Pee Wee, sorry, in the tiny town of Pee Wee, no one is as tiny as Sir Small, but when a terrible dragonfly flies off with pretty Lady Tina, who do you think will save her? The butcher, the baker, the candle maker, or tiny Sir Small? Here's a fun to read story you can read all by yourself. So this is just a simple, you know, book to read, but it's really cute. I love the story. So we're going to go ahead and start reading this one. So I'm going to show you the cover real quick. Here is Sir Small and the dragonfly. Let's go ahead and start reading this one. This is a really nice book. Here's the, the front pages. As you can see, he is going into town on what looks like to be an ant. <laughs> Funny, right? Right. Long, long ago, a tiny knight rode his trusty ant into the town of Pee Wee. So he's going to the town of Pee Wee. Nice. In Pee Wee, the tallest person was no taller than a toothpick. The biggest house was no bigger than a shoebox. This th is the town for me, said the tiny knight. I think I will stay here. And so he did. Oh, I wonder how tiny he is compared to everyone else. But one day, a dragonfly flew over the town. One for your lives, cried the, the, pee -pee, the people of Pee Wee. <laughs> So they're getting scared of the dragonfly. You can see he's coming out on the side right there. He's coming. Wonder what he's gonna do. Lady Tina ran. Down came the dragonfly. Whoosh! Up went Lady Tina. Help! Help! She shouted. He's breathing fire. Pretty interesting. Is he? Oh no, sorry. That's just the part of the of Lady Tina's hat. The dragonfly has taken Lady Tina to its cave. Who can save her? asked the king. What do you think is going to do it, guys? I can kind of see all those people are just staring all, all lost and no one's really saying anything. The butcher said, I am too old. The baker said, I am too fat. The candlestick maker said, I am too scared. So what do you say? Would you save the, the lady Tina or not? I am not scared, said the tiny knight. You? Who are you? asked the king. I am Sir Small. I have my sword. It was the size of a pin. I have my shield. It was no bigger than a penny. So imagine this kind of being his shield. And I have my trusty aunt. So there he is with his shield, his sword, and his trusty aunt. The king laughed. You are even smaller than we are. I am small, but I am brave, and I will save Lady Tina. Oh, so he's actually even tinier than they are. Interesting. Sir Small rode to the, the cave of the dragonfly. The dragonfly was asleep. Lucky Sir Small. He said to Lady Tina. Then he cut the ropes. Lady Tina was free. Come with me, Sir Small told her. 
It's a nice looking chest right there. I wonder what. I wonder if they took anything. <laughs> Lady Tina got on Sir Small's aunt. Away they rode. There was no time to lose. Soon the dragonfly woke up. Where was the pretty lady? The dragonfly wanted her back. So he's catching on. He, see, he sees that she's gone. The dragonfly flew after Sir Small and Lady Tina. It came closer and closer. But Sir Small was not scared. He saw a big spider web. Now he had a plan. What do you think he's going to do with that spider web, guys? I have an idea. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it, though. It's like right there. That's the spider web. I'm going to make sure you guys see everything. Sir Small rode behind the web. Try and get us, he called to the dragonfly. Down came the dragonfly. It flew into the web and was trapped. That was the end of the dragonfly. Is that what you guys thought was going to happen? That's what I thought. So he trapped him in the dragonfly. I mean, he trapped him in the web. Sorry. That night, the people of Pee Wee had a big party. Lady Tina sat with Sir Small. They were very happy. I'd be happy too with all that food. <laughs> and of course, after saving Lady Tina. The king said... Here's to Sir Small, the smallest and bravest of all. Oh, that's so nice. See, guys, it's just a cute little little book about tiny people, a tiny little man, even smaller than the tiny people that he met. But he was still braver than everyone else that was there. Like the butcher, you know, the butcher was too scared to go. Sorry, the candlestick maker, the butcher said he was fat. I don't think that's a good excuse. You can do anything no matter what you look like or you know, what you might think. All right, guys, so the next thing I'm going to read for you guys is a comic of Pokemon, and it's the book um, from the movie I Choose You. I don't know if you guys have seen this movie or not, but it, Pokemon is one of my favorite things, as you can see. I'm wearing a dress from it. I have some Pokemon stuff in the back, back there, including a hat, two hats right there. I absolutely love Pokemon. I like to collect the cards and... Um, the games I play the games as well and I like to watch the show um I haven't seen the most recent ones but I do love to watch them like the movies and stuff whenever I can so I thought this would be a nice thing to share with you guys um it is a free it's from free comic book day um I'm sorry guys I think my mom's calling me right back <clears throat> sorry about that guys so yeah, I thought it would be nice to read you the comic that um, I got from Free Comic Book Day. It's just, since it is a comic, you're not getting the entire story. But I thought it would still be nice to share with you guys. If you don't want to watch this part of the video, of course, you can always go off. Or if you're interested, you can keep watching. But just know, um, I do not have the other comics, so I'm sorry. I can't continue reading these for you guys, but maybe in the future um, I can find the rest of them and then I'll do a series on that. But yeah, so let's just go ahead and start reading this. Um, I'll be doing the dialogue, of course, so it'll be a little easier for you guys to follow along. Um, since this is based on comics from Japan, you read not from left to right, but from right to left. So you start from the end of the book. Instead of the front, this is the front on the back part. So it's pretty interesting. So I know it's going to be a little difficult for you guys to see the black and white, white but I will be reading for you. So let's go ahead and, you know, follow along with me. This isn't how I expected to start my journey. Professor Oak, why doesn't this Pikachu like its Pokeball? Hmm, well, so we can see that's Ash and his Pikachu. He's got him on a rope because he seems like he's not paying attention well. He doesn't want to go on his Pokeball. Here we are. There's a lot we still don't know about Pokemon. The reason is probably different for each Pokemon, but I suspect Pikachu might be afraid of the Pokeball or find it too cramped. Or perhaps it has an aversion to the Pokeball because of something in its past. Or it could simply be that it's especially curious and wants to experience the world on its own two feet. Regardless, some Pokemon just don't like Pokeballs, and only that Pokemon knows why. So we just read that part. I don't think I like Pokeball either. <laughs> hey, Pikachu, 
You really don't want to go into the Pokeball, huh? He. All right, then you don't have to. Let's get rid of this leash, too. You don't like me, do you? Pika, Pika. So, <laughs> so Pikachu agrees that he doesn't like Ash. He's a, if you've watched the, the series and the movie, you know Pikachu's really tough in the beginning. Well, I like you, and I want us to be friends. Shake my hand. Pika, he said no. This is tricky. Huh? That sounds like. So on the back it says, pitch, 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 pitch. I wonder if you guys know what Pokemon might come up from that. That's page just right. A Pidgey. This is our chance. Time for a Pokemon battle. Go, Pikachu. Pika. He's yawning. He doesn't want to. You won't help me? Fine. I'll do it myself then. So I can't, I don't know if you guys see it, but he's picking up a rock. I don't know what he's planning to do with that rock, but I hope he's not going to throw it. He might throw <laughs> Oh, he did. There, Pidgey. Oh, I missed. Pika, ka, 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 ka. Look, he's laughing at him. Was that a bonk? Okay, so he threw a, poke, the, a rock, and it looks like it hit something else in the grass. Let's see what it hit. Ro, ro. I hit a Spearow. Uh-oh. Spee, spee, spee. Ah! <laughs> so he hit a Spearow by accident. It looks pretty mad. What do you think it's going to do to Ash? Oh, look, I just saw, guys. Looks like there's some more of them in the background. What do you think is going to happen? Maybe you can make a guess. Ooh. There's a whole flock of them. Run! Pika! Huh? All right, so looks like there are a flock of Spiro coming down on this page. And on the next one, it looks like they're passing... Pikachu and, and Ash. I wonder why. Oh, look. It passes Ash. You can see. He's like, huh? Spee, spee. They started attacking Pikachu. Pika. Looks like he starts attacking back with like a lightning move of his. Oh, that's pretty scary, guys. I wonder I wonder who, why they're fighting now. Stop. I'm the one who threw that rock. You should be attacking me. Leave Pikachu alone. Pikachu, are you okay? Pikachu. Oh, look. He got all beat up. Now he's on the floor. Hold on, Pikachu. I promise to protect you. Darn it. Right, so. I don't know if you guys can tell, but the Spearow attacked Pikachu, and Ash got them away from him. And... He's grabbed, he grabbed Pikachu and now he's running away because there's a, their spear are still attacking. But now it looks like in these last few pictures, it's starting to rain, which isn't that good if you're walking on your own. And you got an injured Pikachu. Scary. They keep coming. Ah! And whoosh. Ooh, sounds like he fell. Pikachu, please get in. I know you don't like going in your Pokeball, but I'll be you'll be protected inside of it. Come on, please. Leave the rest to me, okay? So, they fell. Looks like they fell off, like, I don't know if it was a cliff, but they fell somewhere. And they're still getting attacked while it's raining. So, he's telling Pikachu to go back into the Pokeball so he can protect him. And the Spearow is still attacking them. What do you think is going to happen, guys? You think he's going to get in? Hey, I don't think you know who you're dealing with. I'm Ash from Pallet Town. I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon master. And no way am I losing to you. I'll catch all of you Pokemon at once. Speed, speed, speed. So they still call and attack him anyway. Pikachu, get inside your Pokeball. Chew. Oh, great. So Ash is having a standoff with the Spearow. Pikachu's in the background. It looks like Pikachu was looking a little determined, guys. See his face? Look at that. Do you think he's gonna he's gonna get in the Pokeball, run or fight? What do you think he's gonna do? It's gonna be one of those, right guys? Has to be. Pika And What? <laughs> he's like, what? Like all confused. Like, what's going on here? Alright, so it looks like Pikachu decided to fight. He starts running, 
He jumps off of Ash's back and he lets out a lightning bolt. And sadly, guys, that's where that part of the comic ends. So, you know, you can make some, some predictions on what you think happened next. It looks like, you know, Pikachu decided to protect himself and Ash by going against the Spiro. So, you know, based on that, do you think Ash and Pikachu are going to have a good relationship from now on? I think they will. I, I think, you know, just from that little experience, they're going to start building a bond. Of course, if you've seen the show and the movie, they do get very, very close. There are they are inseparable. Yeah, so there is another included comic. This is um about a different character. His name is Red, I believe. So this is a, um just a little addition that they put in this one just to make you interested in other ones. But I think what we can do for that part, um, it is entirely different character. I think what we'll do is we'll read that for next time for Friday. Um, we can read it after we read the Just Little Critter. I just told you guys we were reading. We're going to finish off the Just Little Critters collection. And we can finish off this comic. Um, yeah, so if you guys like the comics or anything, if you would, wouldn't mind wanting more of those, um, you can go ahead and drop some likes. I, I think that'll tell me um, if you do like these. Uh, since I don't get com comments from you guys, I think having you put likes would tell me that you're liking what I'm doing so far. It'll let me know that the books um, are interesting or if you would like more comics. I can, What I can do is add comics at the end of a story, at the end of what we're reading instead. I have other kind of comics, but um, there, of course it's a lot of dialogue and it's still just one part of what we're supposed to be reading. It's not entirely everything, but I think you guys would be interested in it. So. Yeah, guys, so if you liked the comics, if you liked the book so far, um, try and let me know in some way if you can. And, you know, subscribe if you want to keep watching my videos. I hope you guys take care. I will see you on Friday. Don't forget, Monday, we're starting the new novel, and I'm very excited about it. So if you really want to see those, make sure you just you subscribe so that you can get those on time. All right, looks like we're running along long on time. All right, guys, so take care of yourselves. Have a good time. Have a fun weekend coming up, and I will see you on Friday. Bye, guys.